hi um this is my first video in for my blog related to my dissertation on a psychosocial reading of jenny diskey's rainforest um, my name is lee jenner and i'm just keeping this record really to help me um keep track of where i am my along the road and see if it maybe becomes useful for me to have this record at some point in the future. So the first thing I want to talk about is why do I want to look at rainforest? And um, it really started with Paul Ricoeur and his idea, some of his ideas about cultural objects. So he said, we understand ourselves only by the long detour, I'm just reading here, of signs of humanity deposit, deposited in cultural works. And he said, to understand is to understand oneself in front of the text. So if you're reading and you're trying to understand, this is what you're actually doing. It is not a question of imposing upon the text our finite capacity of understanding but of exposing ourselves to the text and receiving from it an enlarged self. I thought that was a really interesting way to think about how texts and cultural objects work to, um, you know, it, to, how, to our, how we become a subject in our, within our culture and how we understand ourselves and we create this self, this subject. So um, when I thought about the question, what text has produced this effect of self-knowledge? Um, I immediately thought of basically any novel by Jenny Diskey and um, Rainforest was the first one I read. Now I read it, let's see, when, when was it? First published, uh, 1987, and it probably wasn't long after that that I read it. So my memory of it is, I have some very strong memories of it, not necessarily of the story itself, but its effect. So some key things about this book and about all of her books that I've read that make them important to me or the lasting impressions I have are about the way they engage you emotionally. So they stir up emotions to such a, an extreme that it makes me question you know, why? Why do I have these strong feelings? What is it about what's going on in the story? What is it about what's happening to these characters that makes me feel generally, usually quite uncomfortable, um, but feel very strongly about it and kind of make it, I remember thinking to myself, oh, I'm not like this character, I don't think, and it kind of made me question well, to what extent am I like this character? Because there's something about what's happening to this character that makes me feel touched or connected or to some extent feel like this book is about me. So that is exactly what Paul Ricoeur is talking about. So we always find ourselves in the text. Um, and I, you know, always find that in her books. I've it makes me question, have these questions, and really, really feel strongly, so strongly emotionally that some of her books I actually can't read. So she wrote one called Nothing Natural, which I have actually never been able to read because I, you know, it's too disturbing to me. Um, the other thing is that there are, my recollection is that there are just brilliantly written passages. So when you're reading along, you suddenly think, wow, that has been said so beautifully, but I just want to stop and read it again. And that's lovely. Um, 
And also, she has this way of presenting things so as if it's normal, which are jarring because they're not the common sense view of, you know, so, th and it makes you realize, oh, I have this point of view, which I hadn't really thought about. And is it actually right? So, for example, in, in um, this book, Happily Ever After, in my recollection of it, because it has been a long time, so uh, we'll find out when I actually read again, that, you know, that there's an idea that a, a, an, real, an old woman is attractive, sexually attractive to a younger man and it's not as I my recollection is it's not really stated that this is odd in the book it's it's presented as if that's normal but immediately you know to me that's not normal so then it made me question why is that not normal and I found that really interesting and I think all of her books sort of do that so Rainforest in particular um, I mean I could have picked probably any one of her books to do but I, th I thought Rainforest because it was the first one and um, so I'll start there I'll see where see where we go that's it for now